It's got stripes, and it, it's very. This, these are very old, beautiful trucks. I love them. Marker Colbert, Speed Recover Finish Network. All right, we got the old douche. Dude, we're getting ready to paint. I haven't quite planned my method of attack on this one yet because this thing's been sitting for a while. This is paint code PGF. Speedo Coat sent us the paint. Oh man, I'm so excited to show you guys another Speedo Coat, 100% Speedo Coat job. Speedo Coat Base, Speedo Coat Primer, Speedo Coat Clear, all that stuff. This was a budget restoration. Um, you know, this thing was torn down to the brim. I mean, we took out everything the trim, the you know, took the whole truck dang near apart. Bedsides welded in, needed bodywork, needed new fenders, needed uh, a lot of stuff. The roof is painted. Watch um, that guy GT's performance, I think his page is. I kind of like how he paints. He paints the roof first, and then he masks up the roof like the next day or the next two days. And then that way you only have to focus on the sides. And that's not a bad method of painting. Um, I do that on some cars, not every car. This is a two-tone job. So... The top half of the truck and the, the bottom half is going to be this uh, P, yeah, PGF. It's like an emerald green pearl. It looks very beautiful in the sun. And then there's a driftwood silver tannish stripe that goes down the center and it's got stripes. And it, it's very, this, these are very old, beautiful trucks. I love them. We're gonna go ahead. We're going to start wiping this thing down. Get the paint gun loaded up. I'm going to talk to you guys today about ways you can preserve base coat and use less material. We're going to get this thing, uh, get this thing rocking and rolling. Now, one of the simplest and cheapest ways to save money on base coat and use less material, it's not running out and getting the latest and greatest spray gun or the latest LVLP off of Amazon. It's actually taking the spray gun you already have, bumping that pressure down to about 8 to 12 PSI and spraying the base at super low pressure, moving the gun a little bit closer to the panel. As you guys can see, I am spraying this base coat with my gun on average about three to four inches away from the panel, approximately. Um, this is gonna help get more base coat on the panel and less overspray into La La Land. Uh, Cause when it's in La La Land, it's not going on your car, it's being wasted.
Now, when you do do this method, understand it does come with repercussions. You are gonna get slightly more texture in the base coat, which means you will get slightly, slightly more texture in the clear coat, but that can be remedied with a high solids clear coat and doing a full three uh, wet coats. Um, so do that. Uh, another thing you can do to help remedy the extra texture you might get in the base coat is just using one speed slower on the reducer. So if it's summertime and you're using slow reducer, go ahead and get, go to speedacoat.com, which we're one of the very few suppliers that supply this, and get the extra slow reducer. Or if it's fall time and you're using like a medium, bump it down to a slow. And this will also help remedy that problem. And once again, save money on the base coat because everybody knows the color is the most expensive part of the job most of the time. Many of you guys know, you know, I work with a company that sells 30 different types of clear coat and hundreds of different products. So I constantly have to kind of reinvent the wheel and reteach myself how to apply these products. The fast dry Euroclear, I find the best method with this clear coat is the first coat, you put it on a full seal, but as light as possible. Don't go heavy. A full seal, like a light to light medium coat just enough clear to cover over the base and provide a full seal. And then the second coat, you go a medium wet. And then if you do do a third optional coat, you can go another medium wet on that coat. If the temperatures are a little bit hotter, you can go a full wet as opposed to a medium wet. But I find the one kind of dry tacky coat, but still smooth coat, and two medium coats is usually the way this product looks the best. We do have other products out there in clear coats that you know you can smash on full wet from the first coat all the way to the last coat. The SMR 1150, perfect example. First coat, I smash every single coat on full wet. Um, but this clear is just slightly different. I would suggest playing around and finding uh, a specific clear that works best for the way you like to spray and the way you like to do your specific project.
guys have it. Another 100% Speedico job. Start to finish. Speedico body filler, Speedico filler primer, Speedico base, Speedico clear, Speedico everything. Definitely not a knock it out of the park job. This is not my best job in the whole world. This is a hey, scratch it, let's get it all one color. Welded new bedsides, we got new fenders, they were rusted out. Let's fix the rust, fix a couple dents here and there. You know, it ain't, it's still a little wavy here and there. We did not block sand this whole truck. This is not a $30,000 uh, restoration, but this is good enough. It's good enough, uh, you know, Sunday drive, you got your grandkids, your kids in the back, throw the bicycles in the back, going down to the creek, you know, have a picnic, whatever. This will do for exactly what it's going to be used for. The color looks phenomenal, you know, beautiful metallic layout. The clear coat's real nice. Probably could have put an extra coat on there. It's not perfect. Probably could have used three coats. I, I did two. Third coat on any paint, whether it's clear coat or single stage, it just gives you that, that extra cherry on top, that extra little bit of gloss, that extra little bit of smoothness. You know, but it can come with additional problems, you know, solvent pop, runs, things of that nature. So, so I try not to if I don't have to, but overall, I'm happy with this truck. You know, code bed liner, we got the bed liner in it. That looks nice. Haven't done one of these in about two years, so it ain't perfect. Got a nice big old blob right in the center, <laughs> right in the center, but that's, that'll be all right. But not perfect, but looks good. Still got to go ahead and get this stripe. There's a green stripe that goes down. And it also will cover up my kind of quacky tape job. And we had a little bit of bleed through right here, as you guys see. But the sticker will cover that. Um, still trying to get that in. But this is semi-finished product. Just wanted to go ahead and show you guys a semi-finished product. It's not 100% done. We still got a little bit of stuff left to do to this. It's going to a buddy of mine. He's going to go ahead and do some undercoating on it. Uh, he's going to go ahead, there's a little bit of a hole in the frame that is structural, that is not safe. Um, get the stripes put on it, give it a full detail, but like I said, I just want to show you guys a semi-complete project. You, know, you guys have seen this, in this thing in the back of the shop for over a year now, just sitting in the corner, all taken apart, and I'm happy and I'm sure you guys are happy as well just to see this thing together, painted, and done, you know, so... Nice old doge, man. Good old decoder. <laughs> I, I joke around. I, I call it the cars by the wrong name. Good old Dodge Decoder. <laughs> it's a nice old Dodge Decoder, man. You know, they don't make them like this no more. Solid steel bumpers, solid steel frame. You know, these new trucks, you you talk to them the wrong way. They'll, you, uh, they'll hurt, you'll hurt their feelings. You'll offend them. You drive them by the bonfire, they melt. <laughs> so... These are some old, nice older trucks. Even if you're not a Dodge person, even if you're not like a Dakota person, you know these these are just cool, man. I'm not. I am not a Dodge Dakota person. I've never been a Dodge Dakota fan, but me as a car enthusiast, I can appreciate some older classic trucks like this. Or I would drive it personally. Anyways, that's gonna wrap up for this one. If you guys are looking for the best, most affordable auto body and detail products in the world. Head on over to www.speedocoat.com. They have everything you guys need. Start to finish. Body fillers, primers, base coats, clear coats, bed liners. Everything you can think of. Start to finish to get your projects done. Hit subscribe. New videos every week.